Thanks for walking with and supporting Caring Kind. Today we're going to do 50 minutes of yoga. All you need is a blanket and a chair. If you can, take your socks and shoes off. We're going to be barefoot for the practice today. Come to sit at the front edge of your chair. Place your feet on your blanket. I like putting my feet barefoot on something just soft. I picture my feet kind of resting on some grass, earth, or mud, cooling the soles of my feet, and giving me that calming, carefree feeling I would if I was walking barefoot in a garden. And close the eyes if you haven't already. Place your hands on your thighs. Start to picture your feet sinking into that grass, into that earth. And let that image calm your breath and calm your mind. Slowing down and just breathing in and out. If you like, you can try breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let your breath out, soften the shoulders, soften the jaw. Let your breath in, expand your lungs in the front of your body and the back. And breathe out. On your breath out, maybe picture your feet sink deeper into that grass or mud. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, take one hand on your chest. You're going to set your intention for your yoga practice and your walk today, dedicating to someone you love or maybe someone that cares for you. Knowing that your efforts in your practice and your walk today are shared with people you care for. Inhale, crack your eyes open. Exhale, lower your hand. So our feet are still on our blankets. We're just going to wag our knees side to side. Good. And then you're going to keep your left leg still. Press into the tops of the thighs. Inhale, look up. Create a little back bend. Exhale. You're going to let your hands glide down your kneecaps. Flex the spine. And inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, flex the spine. Chin lifts up off the throat as you inhale. And tilt back. Gaze goes down to the floor as... You crawl. This can be a small movement, doesn't have to be too big. And come to center. So now we're going to take our hand on our right kneecap and just make some circles with the right thigh and ankle. Good. Switch directions. Couple of times each way. Good. And then you're going to do the same thing on your left side. And remember that breathing we were doing in the beginning. Try to keep it nice and stable. You can move your feet around your blanket a little bit or keep grounding down, whatever feels better. And then switch directions. Good. And come to center. We're going to make some circles with the arms. You're going to reach your arms around. Inhale your arms up and exhale down. You start to let your palms follow the direction as you reach up. The palms face up as you reach down. The palms face down. You start to make the circles bigger if that feels good. Or you can keep them small. Inhale up, exhale down. And then we're going to switch directions. Inhale up, exhale down. So you can go back to your smaller circles if that's better. You can keep them big. 
palms face up as they go up, palms face down as the arms go down. Good. And next time you exhale, relax the arms. You can move your ear to your shoulder and then go to the other side. And then you're going to look up and then look down. And then you're going to shake your head no in slow motion. Good. And take your fingers, interlace them at the wedding, as close to the wedding as you can get. And then you're going to take your hands on top of your head. You're going to press our hands into the top of our head and breathe in, breathe out, press your head into your hands. And then inhale, let it go. We're going to do that a couple more times. Breathe in, breathe out, press. Breathe in, release. Breathe out, press. Remember the feet on the blanket. As you press your the top of your skull into your hands, the feet press down. And then inhale, relax. If it's hard to keep your hands above your head, you can ask a friend to just stand over you and place their hands over your head. And relax. Come back to sit. Just notice if you can lift your chin off your throat with a little bit more ease. Chin parallel to the floor. Breathe in. Breathe out. Then you're going to take your hands and place it behind your skull. You're going to do the same thing. If it's hard to place your hands behind your skull like this, you can go sit at a wall or stand at a wall and press your head into the wall. So let's get started. Inhale, exhale, press your hands into your head, head into the hands. So the back of the skull presses straight back. Inhale, relax. Exhale, press. Feel the feet press into the floor as you press your head into the floor. Make sure the chin is off the throat. No, no tucking the chin on this one. I know it's tempting but we're trying not to tilt the head, we're retracting. Good. And inhale. <sighs> Move your arms down. We're gonna warm up the legs a little bit more before our walk. You're gonna take your left foot on the bare floor and then your right foot on your blanket. Hold on to your chair, breathe in. As you breathe out, you're gonna glide that blanket away. If you're on a carpet, you probably don't need the blanket. It might be a little too hard to glide. You can put your foot just on the carpet. So we're going to do about six on each side. Two more. So you can take a break if you need to or just do less. And then come to center. We'll let that leg relax a little bit by stretching it out. You can lift the toes off the floor, wiggle them a little bit, and come back. We're going to do the other side. Holding on to your chair, keep that right side nice and stable. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Four more. So you want to do about six. But if it's your first time getting this abductor work, outer thigh work, you do less. If you're very familiar with this type of work, you could do more. That's about six. And then we're going to come and lengthen out the leg with the toes, wiggle them a little bit, and shake it out. <sighs> Keep that breathing nice and deep. And then come back. We're going to move the blanket off to the side and come to stand. Standing into that so now your hands can be on your chair. Take a breath in, take a breath out, picture those hands on the skull, elongate through the spine. Take a breath in, and then take a breath out. You're going to walk yourself back to what we call a puppy dog pose. Bend the knees, hang on to that chair, and elongate the spine a little bit more, practicing pushing the top of the skull into that invisible hand and the back of the skull into an invisible hand. 
reach the hips back and bend the knees a little bit more or less, finding what's comfortable for you here. And then you're going to look to the right, look down, look to the left. Look down, look to the right, look down, look to the left. And then look down and start to walk back up to your chair. Hold on to your chair. Take a couple of breaths here. Tadasana. We're going to do a little lunge. So you're going to keep your left foot forward, lift your right foot onto the toes, and stab the right foot back. Bend both knees into a nice little lunge. So you can stay in this bouncy short variation or you can step the foot further back now and come to a longer lunge. And then stepping back, let's do the other side. Step your foot about halfway back to start, starting that little bouncy variation, holding onto your chair. And if you feel Ready, you can step the foot back a little bit further, a longer lunge. And step your feet together again. One more time each side. Halfway, all the way if you choose to. And then step back, halfway, and then all the way, extending that back leg. Good. And then step forward. We're going to do a little twisting now. Come to the front of the chair. The legs feel nice and warmed up. Press the feet into the floor. Reach your arms up. And then exhale. You're going to twist over to the right. You're going to hook your hand on the back of your seat. Take a little twist. Front hand hooks onto the thigh. And then inhale, arms up, exhale, twist to the other side. Picture those hands in the top and back of the skull. And then inhale, reach back up, exhale, we're gonna twist again. So on your twist, try to keep your hip bones pointing forward. So the twist is coming from the middle of your back, the middle of your thoracic spine. And then inhale, exhale, twist again. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands down on your thighs. We're going to reach both legs out this time. Point the toes and then curl. Point, lift the toes and curl. Good. And stretching out the tops of the feet before your long walk today. Now walk your feet back in. You're going to take the right foot and you can cross it over the left. So if the right knee is high up and it doesn't feel comfortable, you can just go back to that first little stretch we were doing at the beginning, but this time without the blanket, you're just going to hold it. If this feels comfortable, you're going to cross the ankle over the thigh. Dorsiflex the right foot, almost making like a number four. Take a couple of breaths in and out. And switch sides. Again, if it feels better to do that first variation, you just hold it. You can stay like this or cross that left ankle over the right thigh, creating that number four, breathing in and breathing out. And I'm cross. 
close the eyes, take a moment to think back to your intention, to your dedication, and honoring yourself for practicing today and honoring the practice of yoga. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace within and peace without. Thank you.